What is up guys? It's McSchwack. Welcome back to another episode of McSchwackcraft episode 2. Uh, today we are going to be uh, building a house for these little guys here. That is loud. Thank you. Um, where was I going? Okay, so today we're going to be building a bee hut for these guys here. Uh, I have them currently in our garden from episode 1, uh, but I want to leave them here for now. Let's go ahead and head over to the new, let's change views. Let's go ahead and head over to the new location for these guys and get started on the build. Uh, I'm going to go with a circular hive for them. Uh, it's going to be quite large, so it might take a little bit of time, guys. So if you guys are going to stick it, stick it. If you guys are going to stay here for the entire, uh, the entire build here, you might want to grab some beverages or something like that right now. Okay, so I want to start off here with the frame. And the first thing that I'm going to do is replace these torches with logs. Uh, there. Make sure I don't mess things up. I think I already did. Uh, let's double check this. Nope, that's right. Now, the reason that I'm going to go quite large on this is uh, that way I have room to expand later. Um, even though I don't think I'll ever need anything quite this large. But, you know, it's YouTube. Go big or go home. Get the rest of this frame in here. Maji, how's it going? Thank you for stopping by. Hey, you better be grinding these live streams. I ha I have been. I'm working really hard on it. I'm actually getting a lot more time off uh, of work. So I'm utilizing that time to do these streams for you guys. I haven't seen next week's schedule, so we'll see how that one goes. And I'm going to leave this one open here for the door. Uh, let's go ahead and throw down a couple of torches though just because it is dark and I do not have a bed nearby last thing I need is like a creeper or something coming up behind me <laughs> ew call in yeah I wish it was that easy uh he's actually been working me uh, working with me I'm getting a lot of getting a lot of days off okay so uh, now that we got the circular frame down, the next thing that we need to do is extend all of these walls up, but leaving space for all the glass. I actually need more glass. I'll have to go back and do some of that. Extend these guys up here. And I'm going to need to get a lot more wood. I only put two stacks in my hand. Um, I think what I did... Uh, this one needs to come down. And then this one's going to go up. There we go. Bring this guy up. And if I remember correctly, I actually think I took those inner ones out. But for now, we'll throw them up. And then if I need to, we'll take them back down. Yeah, Nicole's got to go in early. Let me get my chat uh, a little bit bigger. Now I can read this stuff a lot easier. Uh, there we go. Now I'm not struggling so much to see you guys. Uh, this one's coming up. For those of you guys that are going to be new to this, and you guys are watching this as a video, I try to do as many live streams as possible, so please subscribe to the channel, like any video that you do enjoy, and uh, ring that bell so you guys notify, it will notify you guys anytime I go live. I am slurring quite a bit of my words today, but ah, it's okay, we'll get over it. Alright, so now I got that section done up, uh, I'm going to put glass in between go two spaces high and these are going to be the little windows so that you guys can see 
uh, into the hut without having to open up the door. Oh, and it's going to be also a source of natural lighting. I actually survived three hours of Minecraft. Did you go back and rewatch it, Maji? All right, the windows are in. Um, now what I'm gonna do, I believe I bring this up one more. Now that we got the glass in. And there might be a lot of like uh, placing things on this one and tearing it back down. Uh, just because I was playing with the the build itself. Place all of this in here. And came across. WizKid, how's it going? Thank you for stopping in. Uh, let's actually... Make this go f flat. And then we'll tear this back out. I think I did that for the door. Let's go ahead and put the door on it just to get it out of the way. All right, so that's the start of the frame. Uh, let's see. I believe the next thing that we got to do is the glass. But let me pull up my reference photo real quick, just because I don't remember off the top of my head. And I don't want to put all the glass in and do it wrong. Okay, so actually we're going to go more wood. Uh, let's get our scaffolding here. And we're going to need some dirt. And we're doing okay on logs for right now. So let's get the scaffolding. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to bring the ring in one. Uh, and to do that, I want to start off by putting a ring of dirt. And that's going to make things a lot easier. Still bad at reading chat? Feels bad. Yeah, you know, sometimes I get really focused and I have a hard time remembering that you guys are there. How long are you going to be live for? Um, until the end of this build, I'm thinking it's probably going to be somewhere around three hours again. Uh, depends on how quick I can get through this stuff. I've got to try and get uh, this bee hut built. And then after this bee hut, we're going to work on the corral for the sheep and cows. So probably somewhere around like three hours or so. Uh, what happened to the old house in the other episode? It's still here. The house is still here. Uh, actually, let me give you guys a quick update on that. <laughs> Darth has got his fox in his bench. Uh, so quick update on the house. Uh, this is all the same, but we did add... I don't know where that brick came from. Somebody replaced that with another brick. I don't know where that came from. Um, so we actually did add in a little shed here, and Darth uh, was so kind and built us a windmill for the farm. So thank you, Darth. Uh, so going back to this, we have to... We have the ring going all the way around now. Now what we're going to do is bring it up two logs high. And a lot of this stuff is going to be um, more of like interior design because the outside gets hidden by the roof. And I ran out of wood. Oops, hold on.
Alrighty, that's the interior there. Take a quick look at the reference photo because I do not want to mess up this glass at all. Okay, so now we're going to do another inner ring and it's going to be glass. Uh, let's... Did I bring enough glass? I hope so. I did not. Let's run over to the house and see if I have any more glass. I know I was making a bunch of it. Uh, up here. Let's just hope that that's going to be enough for now. Do I have sand? Can I start making some more? I do. Let's get another stack of sand going, just in case. Now, it's not going to look like much on the outside right now. Uh, we're mainly going to focus on the frame, and then we'll go back and make everything look better afterward. Let's get that going up so I can get up here. Okay, and now we are going to place glass going around, and I'm trying to remember. I think it was just one space wide. I might have to look at the photo in detail. But I'm pretty sure it's just one space. Uh, that scaffolding is going to have to go. Give me one second to take a look at the photo, just make sure everything's cool. It actually looks like, yeah. So everything is gonna be one space, but on these corners, we're not gonna go diagonal. We're gonna join them. And it should be like that all the way around. So every corner is gonna be joined together. Yeah, I definitely don't think I'm gonna have enough glass. All right, so that's the first set of the glass. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take another round of dirt and surround this glass. Actually, I need to grab some more dirt. Um, let's take down the scaffolding, and let's take down all of this dirt. Alrighty, now that we got the dirt, let's get the scaffolding back up, um, probably right about here. And then dirt going all the way around. Let's make sure I don't have to connect these corners. No, this one's not going to be connected. It's a good thing that I uh, tried this out in creative and then uh, came back with a reference photo because I would not be able to build all of this off of memory. Especially when it came to the circle pattern. I've already like destroyed the circle pattern several times uh, in the creative mode. Alrighty, so now we got another inner ring of dirt and what we're gonna do with that is bring up another uh, section of logs. And I believe it's one tall on this one. Uh, too tall, again. And then once we get this ring going, I'll show you guys what it looks like so far. Oops, that one's gotta come out. I gotta be careful, too, to make sure I don't break the glass, because I do not have, uh, silk touch. Alrighty, uh, there's the next ring. Let's go ahead and try and get down safely because it is getting to the point where we will start taking a lot of damage when we drop. 
grab this dirt over here and then let's take this dirt down because we will need it for the next ring And we are almost done with the frame already. Uh, what am I making? I am making a bee hut uh, to house all of the new bees that we have. This is what it looks like so far on the outside. A lot of it's going to be changed up. Uh, but that way you just get an idea of the shape that we're going for. Alright, so the next one I believe is going to be another set of glass. And this one's going to be a lot easier because it's going to be flat across. So let's see. Let's hope that I have enough glass on me. I know we got more of it being made. Let's go ahead and put the scaffolding outside from now on. All right, so this next set of glass is going to go here. And I'm pretty sure it gets connected. Yes, it does. So basically, it's going to be a full line all the way around. Like so. Just like that, and is it one space or two spaces wide? One space wide, but we need to connect the corners. Just like that. And then now what we're gonna do is, oh, this might be difficult to make. Um. Let's see, how are we going to do this? So I need to set more logs. But I need them to be lower than the point that they are now. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go inside. I'm going to pillar up. I'm going to pillar up because what I need to do is get them at that height. And the reason that I need it at this height is because we're going to put more logs, but I want the logs to be facing uh, up and down, vertical. And to do that, I need to be able to click on the block either above or below. All right, now let's go ahead and put the logs in. Just like that, and then it should be another layer of glass. If we have enough. And if I am correct, it is going to be another layer of wood. So let's get the dirt back out. And one more glass. So that is the base of the um, hut. Go ahead and take a step back so you guys can see. So not much detail on the outside right now, but would you come on the inside? Well, I mean, we got to get the dirt out of the way, but if you come on the inside, we got this nice like uh, vaulted ceiling that's alternating between glass and wood. 
take all of this dirt out of here. Alrighty. Nice ceiling gives us plenty of light. Uh, now, the next thing that I'm going to start working on here is making sure that we start getting the uh, actual, like, bee huts, the, um, what are they called, the nests put in. And I actually think we might need to um, grab some more uh, honeycomb to do so. Uh, but before we do that, I need to make a couple of campfires I think I have plenty of sticks okay so to make a campfire you're gonna put logs across the bottom do a upside down V shape of sticks I'm just gonna use these all up I can never have enough and then put coal in the center and that's how you make a campfire uh, nine of them I'm gonna need some more And let's get the logs. Uh, 16. 21. I think 21's okay for now. Might need more, but it'll be good for now. And what we're going to do with these guys here is we're going to dig out this grass in each of these sections. Actually, I forgot to make the trap doors, so let's go grab those. Got our trap doors here. Let's dump off the glass. I don't think we need any more of that. Uh, we can dump some of the sticks. And I think we're good on dirt for now, so let's go ahead and take that out as well. Head back inside. Now, underneath all of these uh, grass sections, we're going to put in a campfire. Just like that. And you can see the smoke travels up. And then just to make it a little bit safer, we're going to put a trap door over the top of them. Actually, no, these ones don't need the trap door. I'm wrong. These ones are going to go with the beehive. Now, to make sure all the hives are facing the right way, I'm going to click on the back wall. And now the hut is facing me. Now, what this does is uh, with the bees, if you have the hut and there's no smoke, if you don't have a campfire underneath it with smoke, uh, when you harvest the hut, the bees will get mad and sting you and end up killing your bees. If you put the campfire underneath, the smoke keeps the bees calm while you harvest. So now that we have the first layer there, the next thing that we're going to do is put some more campfires above them. Uh, let's go around the room because I think I need some more. And then we are going to put another hut above that. Actually, yeah. Right above that, just like so. And then we're going to take these trap doors and we're going to shift click on the campfire and flip the doors back up. Just like that. Uh, I believe the next thing above that uh, is going to be just a regular plank. Just like that, just to hide the smoke. 
Um, the next thing that we need to do is put some in the corners, but I do need to go make some more. Oh, nice. I am going to be replacing that, though. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can get some more honey real quick and make a couple more hives. Uh, I've got 11 on me. It'll give me three more, but I'm going to need some more. Let's see if the bees are going to be ready. Let's go see if the bees are ready. Um, I need my shears. Uh, do I not have shears? Oh, I have iron on me. Let's make some shears real quick. And let's see, this one's ready to go. This one's ready. And that one's ready. I have one more location that I wanna make sure I can take honey from. I'm gonna sleep real quick so I don't get any phantoms. And I got one hiding back here. Run back over. I think this is gonna be maybe just enough. We might have to wait for like one more harvest, but this should be enough to finish. I need some more planks. And I think I need more campfires, so let's go ahead and make some of those. Uh, eight, two, four, six. Yeah, eight should be fine. And we're going to place these in the corner. So same thing as we did before. We're going to go one block down in each corner. And place a campfire in each of those. And these campfires are actually doubling. They are providing smoke for each of the uh, beehives, but they are also uh, making sure that this place is well lit. And then we are going to put a campfire on top of each one of these as well. And do the trap doors on each side. Make sure I face the right way. I think I need like couple more trap doors actually no we got one more we're, we're gonna be okay on that one and this one here and put planks above each one of these to hide the smoke And that's what we got so far. Now the reason I faced each one uh, toward the door is so that when you first come over, you can look in and see how many of these guys are ready to be harvested. Just like that. Perfect. So the next thing that we're going to do, I believe, is gonna, we're going to start on the uh, center decoration. And to do that, uh, we need to grab... 
a little bit of spruce because we're going to need some trap doors. Let's get some of this stuff out of here. A little bit of spruce. Make some trap doors here. 15 is way more than enough. Um, and then we need to get some fencing. I'm going to turn these guys into planks and take... Actually, yeah, 14 is going to be way more than enough. So grab some fencing like so. Uh, lanterns. And what we're going to do is from each of these uh, four corners, we are going to put fence going two squares down. And then from there, we will place a lantern in between each of those. And then we are going to put the... Actually, they're going to go three. These are going to go three. So three fences down. Just like that. And then we're going to place these uh, trap doors around the sides. And to do that, I'm going to pull out some more scaffolding. the wrong way I could do it from the floor but it's gonna be a lot harder just like that let's try it from the floor go around each edge here Okay, and that's going to put a nice little, like, uh, chandelier look there. Uh, let's take a look at the reference photo and see how the rest goes. So it looks like uh, the next thing that we need to do is the grass blocks. And I don't actually have grass blocks, so I'm going to just use dirt. Yeah, so we're going to go with dirt blocks, and we need to get the flowers. Uh, four dirt blocks is enough. Grab the flowers, and we need to make barrels. I need four barrels. Uh, and barrels go... Oh... Uh, chess. I have enough wood. What am I doing? I believe it's chest in the center. And then wood and a halves? No. How does this go? Alright, I'm gonna cheat. I tried not to use the guide. Um... Oh, it was close. There's no chess. I need four of these guys. And they are going to go underneath each one of these. And a dirt block. So shift, dirt block in between. Just like that. And then a trap door on each edge. Uh, need one more trap door. I 
And I don't remember, where did I go? I don't remember if I put them underneath. Uh, one, two, I think I do. Let's put it underneath and see if it fits uh, because we are gonna put flowers underneath those. Of course, I'm one trap door short again. Just like that. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is replace this torch with a flower. And then let's get the scaffolding out. And a flower on top of each of these. And a lantern in the center here. Why is this one not placing? Oh, I know why. There we go, and a lantern in the center there. So now we have this like nice chandelier going with the flowers, and that's actually gonna give the bees something to pollinate. The next thing that we're gonna do here is grab Let's dump off a couple of things here. And I need to go to the house and grab a bucket of water because I forgot. We'll grab a couple of buckets here. We got two already filled with water. Actually, two is going to be fine because I'll use the infinite water source. Right around this flower, we're going to dig a trench. Use our water here. And make an infinite water source. And just fill in the rest of it here. Just like that. Next, we're going to grab the hoe. And from this corner... All the way around is going to become crop. just like this and now what we have set up here is the water source is going to hydrate all of the farmland the flowers are in the center so then when the bees come out of their huts they will fly to the center collect from the flowers and pollinate the ground here let's go ahead and hello zombie uh, let's run over to the house. I want to get a couple more flowers that aren't just the tall ones. Uh, we'll grab these, these. Grab these ones. These ones and these ones and those. And we're just going to add a couple more flowers around the edges. Um... They're not really necessary because we don't have that many bees. The center is going to be fine. Um, but just to make things look nicer, we're going to place a couple more flowers around the edges. And this is mainly because of later on when the bee hut is starting to get full, uh, the bees need another location to get flowers from. Uh, we'll do that. That, that. And that. 
purple, blue, and white. And that just gives them a little bit more uh, place to get some flowers from. But mainly we want them to stay here in the center. And I think that's actually looking pretty good. I don't want to do too much in here. Um, I will actually fill it in with seeds. It's not necessary at this point, but that way you guys can see what it looks like when everything's grown. Uh, can I join? Or can I join? Uh, this is actually going to be a private server. But I do appreciate the thought. Make sure I get all of this filled in with seeds. There we go. Everything's filled in with seeds. All of that will grow, and we will get the bees in here in just a bit. The next thing that we're going to work on... Uh, let's dump a lot of this stuff out. I don't need that. I'm going to need these. Uh, we can keep that on us. We don't need the coal. We don't need the dirt. We'll move this stuff over here. And we don't need the trapdoor. Next thing that we're going to work on is we're going to take a lot of this dark. And oak. And we're going to make a lot of stairs. We'll start with that for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to work on the exterior of this bee hut. And what we're going to use the dark oak for is for detail work on the outside. Um, actually, what I'm going to do... I'm going to turn this into planks and we're going to replace the outer wall. I think we can leave those. Uh, we're going to place the outer wall here. And it should just be the too high. Let me double check. Yes. I only need to replace the too high. Just like that and make our way all the way around oh, a little bit of a rubber band on the server there it's moments like this when I wish I had a diamond uh, axe more side here. I should have remembered that all of this needed to be replaced and I could have done it the first time. And this final section here. Okay. Now that we have that... Oh, you know what? Actually, I forgot this. I need to put these two logs back. Just like that. And 
like so. Now what that's going to do is that's going to start changing up the coloring on the exterior, but it should leave the interior for the most part just the same. So you can see like the walls are still going to be that uh, wood color. The only time you can see the difference is in the window. Next thing that we're going to do is take some stairs and we are actually going to flip on each one. Uh, so this first one we're going to do is upside down. Just like that, but we're going to go all the way around the building. And this is with the uh, dark oak. Make sure we keep everything upside down and turn the right way. And this tree is probably going to have to be taken out don't really want to. Uh, we'll see if we can squeeze around it. This is going to be the most tedious part, guys. All right. So that's the first section is taking the roof all the way around the house just like that. Now what we need to do is scaffold up. And then we are going to do the same thing but facing the right way uh, just on top. So I'll go ahead and place these guns, these guns, these ones here. Just like that and we'll come down here so you guys can see what it looks like so just like that it's gonna basically make a ring around the hut so just take this pattern all the way around Lots of clicking from the keyboard. <laughs> and we might need to go back and make some more. All right, this is where that tree is in the way. Let's grab some more. That should be good for now. All right, 
So now we've got the first ring all the way around the hut. Uh, next thing that I want to do is grab a couple of... Oh, I've got them on me. A couple of torches. Let's get some more scaffolding going up here. And we're going to place a torch uh, in the corners here. Let's get rid of the scaffolding. And going around the hut. Uh, let's go here and here. There. And there. And what this is doing is this is going to hide the torches themselves, but it's going to keep this hut lit up at night. So just like that, all the way around, uh, let's take a quick look at the reference photo. And it looks like we replace this here. Uh, how does that work out? Hold on. So I did replace that, but that is not really going to work here. I actually made a mistake, guys. Well, we're going to have to just roll with it. Uh, so this actually needs to come down one. And it's going to be planks. Like that. Yeah, so we need to bring it down one and replace it with the planks. Um, that's where I made a mistake because I actually forgot that it's going to change that. But it's okay. It's not going to be incredibly uh, noticeable. Come on. Get up the scaffolding. So, quick fix of a mistake, take each one of these out. And now go back and replace it all with planks. Oops. And if we take a look down here, you guys can see the pattern that's going on now. Uh, so the next thing that we're actually going to do is head back to our dark oak. And I'm going to make a couple more here. Head back to our dark oak stairs. And the same thing that we did here with making that ring, uh, we're going to do here, right here against this wall. And we're going to start with the upside down block, leaving that gap underneath the glass. If I can stop falling. Make sure I place that corner the right way. I did not. Oh. Oh. Making sure I get all these corners facing the right way. 
just like that. So corner, straight, corner, and so on. Oh, it did. Ugh, I gotta stop falling in the gap there. Really? Just like that. And then the next thing that we're going to do is, as you guys already saw, we're going to do the same thing but stairs up all the way around on the ring that we just made. Actually, I think it'll be easier if I just do it this way. Without falling. and I fell again. Maybe it's not easier. That one didn't turn. Just really messed everything up. And the final turn there. Well, hello, Nip Nip. How's it going? So there you guys can see we have the two rings there. The final thing that we're going to do is take a couple more planks. Climb all the way up to the top here. And right on this outer ring of logs, we're going to replace the top section with the planks. I'm glad to hear that you're doing good. Just like that. And we're going to leave the rest open. We don't need to worry about anything there. Um, we can actually put in... these torches here uh, just to try and help with mob spawning. There's a lot more that we could do to create the mob spawning problem or to keep the mob spawning problem but this is just a simple build. It is tedious but it is a simple build. Take a step back so you guys can see and now we got that classic like B dome with rings going around. The hedgehog, you're too slow. And the final thing that we're going to do is... Uh, actually, I need to... I don't think I brought it. I need the stone. Run back to the house here. There's some stone. I need these stairs, to be more exact. And I'm going to need the stone cutter. Sonic the Hedgehog. And we're going to make a bunch of these guys here. Um, let's do half because I don't want to go overboard on these. Uh, 
And the final thing that we're going to do just to like spruce it up just a little bit more is uh, put these stairs in. Going around the edge. And all this is really doing is hiding that oak log and changing up the color of the dome because the dome has a lot of browns on it. Lots of rings on this build, guys. Would you play Subnautica? I would. I actually have played it. Um, Subnautica is actually a challenge for me just because of uh, the fear of the ocean. Uh, I need my pickaxe here. And leave that spot open let's take a look back here so now you guys can see that that really breaks up the color of the dome uh, this is a very plain build but we wanted to keep that honeycomb or not honeycomb but that beehive look with the uh, striped patterns and when you take a look on the inside we have a, a beautiful like chandelier of flowers with flowers around the edges and the bee huts going all the way around the room so they can pollinate the crop inside. So that's it going to be that's going to be it on the dome here. The next thing I wanted to work on is another simple build. Let's dump some of this stuff off. I'll take this with me. That with me and the axe. I think that should be it. And we'll take the dirt as well. That should be it for the rest. The rest of this stuff I'm just going to leave here and we're going to move on to the next build. And the next build's going to be right here. Another simple build on this one. We're going to use a lot of spruce. I need to grab stone. I forgot to grab the cobblestone. I really want to know where that block came from. Grab a bunch of cobblestone here. I don't think we need that much, but it'll be good enough. So this next build here, guys, is going to be the corral for all of the cattle and sheep. Uh, we're just going to build the uh, two houses or huts for them. We are not going to actually build um, the fencing going around. Let's start off with the logs here. We're going to take each one of these torches and replace it with a log. And I believe we're going to go four high. I'm pretty sure it's four high. Might be more. And we're going to do one here in the center. That's going to go three there. Come over this torch, replace this one. Four high on that. Four high on that. Three on that one. And then we're going to bring this over and over. Same thing on the other side. And place that one there for now. Bring this beam across. And through to the other side. Fix this one here. And if I can get the right angle, place it there. That's going to be the frame of the building. Next, what we're going to do is fill in each of these with cobblestone on each side.
come over to our crafting table here and make some spruce stairs. And some half slabs. Let's take half of that. I don't want to make too many. So now that we have the frame just like this, we're going to take the stairs right here on that edge, come across. And same thing on the back side. And stick it out one edge on each side. Did we stick out on this side? We did. Now what we're going to do is uh, use the scaffolding here. I always do that. Come up. And continue the roof with one more set of stairs. I do not have a shield. And repeat on the back side. And fill in cobblestone here and here. And then we're going to switch over to the half slabs. <laughs> Why does it cost much planks and one iron? I just, I haven't been a fan of the, um, the shields. We're going to place all of these half slabs on this top section here, going all the way across. To go back and collect that one that I misclicked. And finish it off over here. Just like that. And that's going to give us the roof. So your building is going to look just like that. Um, I need... Actually, I forgot to bring some of the oak. I do like the crossbows, and I do not really care for the tridents. I'm more of like a, a bow slash swordsman. Let's take some of this cobble out. And we'll take these fences with us. Next thing that we're going to do, very simple, we're going to make fences. Get a couple of sticks here. Just like that. And then we're going to make... Uh, I think I need like four. One, two, three, four. Let's just do this. Makes it a lot easier. I think two, we'll do two for now. I will do three just so I have the inventory space. All right, so let's bring down, right, I don't need those seeds. We're going to go fence, uh, one spot on the left, a gap of two, fences on the right. And replace the gap with gates. Just like that. And then we're going to grab these lanterns that we have left. One on the corner. One on the other corner. Come inside. Right in the center. Uh, on the center beam. 
one on the pillar, one on the other pillar. Uh, grab the shovel here. And we are going to uh, make all of this the uh, path, the dirt. Just like that. Uh, my friend from the last video is actually here. Darth is playing. So we have the dirt going all the way across here. The next thing that I need to do is dump off some cobblestone. We're going to go grab some iron. Wow, Nicole has been doing quite a bit. We got quite a bit of iron. And then I'm taking it. <laughs> I also need three buckets. One, two, three. And we are going to make three cauldrons. And grab three buckets of water. Uh, we need to make some room first. Grab three buckets of water here. And we're going to dig up this section here. And replace it with cauldrons. And fill up each one of these cauldrons. And that's going to be our little water trough. Uh, for the cattle and sheep. Uh, next thing I want to do is grab some wheat. And make some hay stacks. And we're just going to put a couple of them here. Just for decorative. So that's the first building, guys. Like I said, this build is going to be very simple. This is the first building here. This is going to be where you would take your cattle and sheep to put them in the corral. Uh, next, what we're going to do is grab some more uh, logs and cobblestone. Uh, dump off some unneeded items here. Uh, let's see. We can dump off the wheat. That should be okay for now. Come over to the second location, which is going to be right next to it. Take this one and go up. I believe five spaces. When are you? Yes, five, because it's going to be one block higher than the other building. Drop down, take a little bit of damage there. Come over to this corner. Five there. Five there. Three, four, five there. And then we are going to build a cross to each side. And across that way. Going all the way around.
just like that. Now what we're going to do is go two spaces over and on the third space we're going to put in another support beam. And do the same thing on the opposite end. So two over and place on the third. Perfect, just the right amount of wood. And that should give you a frame just like that. Right underneath these beams, we're going to put pillars. Um, I'm actually not the builder on the server. I like to build. Um, Darth is actually the better builder. He is the one that built that wonderful windmill over there. So now that you have a nice wooden frame just like this, you're going to take some cobblestone here and fill in the gaps on each side. Just like that, so you get a nice long tunnel. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is the same thing over there as the roof, but we're going to turn it a little bit. So let's go ahead and grab the stairs back and make a few more. Uh, I think let's make a little bit more. I want to make sure that I have enough. And we are also going to make the half slabs. Oh, those are doors. I did not mean to make those. This is why we always make sure there's extra wood. All right, so let's go ahead and scaffold up here. And we are going to place a stair on the block with the log and make sure it sticks out on each side. <coughs> yeah, the half slabs are three across. I just build so many trap doors that I get used to um, that like uh, motion, that muscle memory. So two sets of stairs on that side and two sets of stairs on this side as well. Oops, this place. And make sure we extend one on each side. Just like that. And then we are going to go back to our cobblestone here and bring it across this beam and the beam on the back side. Just like that. And switch over to our half slabs. And fill this in. Filling in all of the section here. And making sure that all of this is placed on just the block just above the cobblestone, because if you place it on this level, you'll get mobs spawning. The 
fix that one there. Bless you. Just like that. And now what we're going to do, just for a little bit of added flair on the front side, we're going to stick out one and then one more so that it looks like that. Now what we're going to do is grab a little bit of iron, grab these torches, and we're going to make a couple of lanterns. To do so, you're going to make some nuggets, and then surround a torch with nuggets. Uh, I think we're going to need a couple more. Uh, you know what sucks is seeing people using the crafty bench that's so fast and I barely remember the recipes. You get used to them. The more you do them, um, the more you remember. That's like me with the barrels. I really like the barrels, but I don't ever remember the recipe. Uh, so what we're going to do with these torches here is on this eve, we're going to put one on each side. And then one on the corners. Uh, actually, no, we're not going to do the corners. Take these two down. We are going to go on the wood. Nope. I like the corners better. <laughs> Back to the corners. Just like that. Now what we're going to do for the interior section here. Uh, we're going to go over one block on each side and place a lantern. Oops. Just like that. And that's going to give you lighting throughout the tunnel. Uh, next, what we're going to do is take the uh, oak fence here. And we're going to go straight across here, uh, leaving the gap on that section there. And we're going to put a gate, two gates. Make a couple of sticks. Oh, wrong pattern. See, that's where it comes down to remembering things. And we need two gates. There and there. So just like that, next what we're going to do is go and get some more hay bales. Uh, we're going to need to get more wheat. I'm going to go ahead and just take um, this full stack here, if I have room. Toss the dirt. We don't need the dirt. And make some more hay bales. Not quite as many hay bales as I would like, but it is a good start. And we're going to just take these hay bales and place them here. Just like that. I would prefer to have some more hay bales, but I do not have enough wheat to do so. Next, we're going to take the shovel here. And we are going to do the same thing that we did over there and just turn all of this into dirt. Uh, my shovel broke. Let's go make a stone shovel. I do have iron. Actually, I'm just going to replace the one that I broke. Here we go. Turn all of this into dirt here. 
And then we are going to make a couple more barrels. Now let's see if I can remember how to make them. Just like that. Uh, let's get another one going. And normally I'd have the hay, the hay stack out to about here. So I'm going to place the barrels there. We're going to go one there, one there. One there. Let's fix this one. And let's go make one more. And while we're here, let's make another crafting table. This last one's going to be placed like that. And crafting table, just like that. So a little bit of decoration, not much. And like I said, once we get more hay, we will fill up this barn a little bit more and have the stack come out to about the barrels. So the final thing that I want to do, uh, we're not going to do all of it, but we will start it, is we will make a cobblestone fence along with the oak fence. And we will build right across here. Uh, that one's going to stay. We are going to build across here. I believe just like that. And we'll do some just like that. And we're going to put the oak fence right on top. Just like that. And on this last section here. Now, I always think that this is going to be a problem and I haven't quite fixed that but when I do fix it I will let you guys know so that's going to be it guys we have the corral here we have the section where you would load in your cattle and sheep right here and then we have the uh, supply area just so we can keep all the hay uh, if you shear the sheep we can store it in the barrels there collect milk and such everything will be stored in this barn here and then we also have the bee hut right over here looking like a nice little beehive with an interior of crops so that the bees uh, can pollinate everything so i appreciate all of the support that you guys give me that's going to be the end of this episode if you guys missed the first one, please check it out on my channel, McSchwack Craft Episode 1. Uh, we built the house that is on this server. Thank you guys for all the support that you guys give me, and as always, stay awesome.